In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the best man-beating concepts in all of Madden 23. What's good, guys? Today, we're talking about U-Trips, Y-Off, Trips, Pats. We're in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. And if you're watching this video and you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that, and it's gonna get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates to the ebook. So if you wanna sign up for that, the link is down in the description. All right, so like I said, we're going to be talking about man primarily, but we are going to show you zone as well. And we're going to be talking about the Y off trips pats, otherwise known as U trips. And I think one of the best offenses in the entire game uh, this year. So we're going to be showing you how to beat man and zone coverages um, out of dollar. And because uh, obviously dollar is one of the most popular defenses online. And the play we're going to be taking a look at is the play curl flat. Now, for this setup, you want to have either Hot Route Master or Tight End Apprentice. The other thing that you want to have is you want to have some kind of route running ability on your tight end. It is extremely, extremely, extremely helpful to have that, okay? So like a short and elite is really what I would recommend. I have Darren Waller and Mutt with short and elite. So I figured I'd use Darren Waller in, uh, in regs. So uh, the setup and the play, we're talking about curl flat. Again, we're in the Pats playbook. If I can find it, curl flats, okay? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to block our running back. This is going to allow us to pick up a lot of pressure, right? If they're going to send pressure off that edge, we're going to block our running back. The next thing we're going to do is we're kind of anticipating man coverage, especially when we motion over Hunter Renfro, okay? Especially when we motion over Hunter Renfro. So we're going to put the tight end on a corner route, the sharp cutting corner route, and basically create a scissors concept. And then we are going to drag our solo receiver and we're going to slant this outside receiver. So what this is going to do is it's we're going to basically motion this guy across and snap him just before he sets. And chances are this is pretty much an all out man beater. But the best route on the play is this corner route to the tight end, in my personal opinion. Now, we're going to leverage the power of the curl flat post, but the tight end corner is really what sets everything up. And it's going to be ha it's going to have to either put a zone over there, or they're going to have to use her uh, this corner route. So you see here again. Um, you can also ag it if you ever get in trouble. That was kind of a sometimes man coverage in this game is super um, inconsistent, as you can see right there. Um, and basically, like they bump into each other occasionally or whatever. But again, by and large, you know when he lights up like that, we're going to free form outside, and we're going to try to throw the corner route. Okay, if you have set feet lead, praise God, because you <laughs> you have an advantage. Okay, set feet lead is going to help you significantly with this throw. Okay, um, you, it's hard to have like a tight end that's good and set feet lead in regs. Okay, so just know the tight end. I can't clearly throw a free form without gunslinger or without set feet lead or whatever. Um, you know, but by and large, the, the tight end is going to be there for you. Uh, I'll show you one more time here just for fun. Hey, there we go. A little, little high, little high ball, free form laser. Um, but there we go. Okay. So now they have to put a zone on the right side to guard the tight end. So naturally, we're going to put a curl flat. And now chances are, unless they are playing a lot of zone, which it's very rare to, for people to play zone on the left side. Okay. Just saying. Um, then you have this beast of a route that if you have short and elite is going to cook every single time. And that route is really good when there's no safety help over the top. So they have to use her one of those two. And that's 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 the beauty of this this whole offense is it's so hard to know what you're doing if you're smart and mix up your play calls. And also um, that crisscross is super effective. Now again, good old Derek Carr, you know, chucking the ball, not able to throw the ball accurately. We're getting shed in Praxmo because Praxmo is awesome. Uh, but what you'll see here, again, if I drop this guy and now they're lurking over the middle because they're coming down on the slant or they're coming down on the uh, the drag because they think that this guy's on a streak because that actually is a thing. People will think he's on a streak. Now all of a sudden, uh-oh, you fell asleep at the wheel and we've got this curl flat post over the top for uh, typically going to be a touchdown if they bust the coverage like that. Now, the best way they can stop it is to truly use her that. So this will mimic that, and then I'll drop, uh, I'll drop a purple, uh, drop a purple zone. 
So, you know, now they're like, okay, we're going to use red, and then we're going to drop a zone over on the right for the tight end corner, and now you're going to have your check down reads. Uh, your check down reads are super simple but super effective, and please don't sleep on them. That, that little drag is so good. Um, the, the, the solo wide receiver on a drag, I think, is one of the most underrated things that you can do in the U-Trips offense. It's really pretty effective. And then what's going to happen is, let's say for whatever reason, maybe they drop a hard flat or whatever they do, um, you have this slant coming backside as well. So this little motion snap slant, typically I have short out a lead on him, super effective against man-to-man. This play is a man-to-man killer. It's really good um, against man-to-man. Now, what if they play zone? Like, let's just say they catch you off guard and, you know, they play zone. It's actually a lot better than you think against zone. Really what you want to do here, if you look to the right side, this deep, because this post is so deep, you can actually throw this right in that little pocket right there. Now, again, Derek Carr's got the best arm in the game. Uh, but you can throw that if they are playing like cover three because what's going to happen is they're going to suck that outside third in and then it's going to give us some space uh, to be able to throw the ball outside. So you'll see here, I'll show you again. Boom. And you see how he, he out leverages him to the sideline. Just can't catch the ball because this is why I hate free form. Uh, but anyways, so you see there, you know, he's open. I'm not going to throw it again. Um, you get the idea. So the other thing you have is the slant. Um, what you'll notice here is, again, zone. You can throw that slant right in there. The other thing you might not have caught is occasionally, if they are in a true cover three defense, this, uh, this post to Devontae can actually sometimes be a big play for you. So, again, you want to snap about right there. Watch that third. See how that's third kind of sw- kind of squats on you and then you could potentially get it over the top wasn't there for us right there but really this play is better for man i will say that um it's not we're not calling this if we think they're in a zone defense but one of the things i do want you to know is you're going to get coverage like this where they're rolling um you know a cover two style coverage and then now they're going to be in this position where they basically have to use her over the middle of the field and when you get them in something like that this is going to be a little bit better because your drag is going to suck the user to the middle. Uh, you'll see there, there's the drag, and then you have the slant kind of coming in behind it. So really simple play, but really effective. And again, primarily designed uh, to beat man. But this is one of the best man beaters in the entire game because of how good the corner route is with short and elite um, compared to you know other corner routes that you might have. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to check out my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure you guys join our Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in the description. So thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for the Patreon to get the ebook, head down to the description below and click the link down below.